welcome to another episode of Influencer Marketing Series and today we'll be talking about content creation. My name is Tosin Ajibade and I want to say thank you for those who are watching, for those who are just joining, just those who are subscribing, for those who are just seeing this for the first time. Yes, this is not the first video, but we're talking about influencer marketing. Basically, we're focusing on influencers in Nigeria, you know, and we've, we have, we've actually talked about who an influencer is, how to find their niche, mistakes influencers make, those, those topics were dealt with in series, season one. And this is season two where we have guests on our show where we just talk about, you know, certain topics that we find very interesting in our industry. So today we're talking about content creation and I have a special guest in the studio with me. He is known, popularly known as the number one international ag bureau in Nigeria, you know, in Lagos, Nigeria, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's known as the you know international ag bureau. I don't know how someone comes to international ag bureau, <laughs> you know. So, but he has grown his brand from some so something like this to what we all know today is very very big, and um, he has actually changed the global. I mean, he has changed the cyber space basically when it comes to influencing, when it comes to content, when it comes to creativity. His name is the one and only Brother Shaggy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but Ashagi, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank so you. this is the influencer marketing series, and basically in season one, I season one was basically where I talked about you know few topics on okay. who an influencer should be, what is an influencer, the mistakes influencers make, and for season two, you know, I thought about it. I said, you know what, I don't want to just be the only one talking to the camera. I want people to come in also on board. Mm -hmm. People should come in on board with me, and then you know tell people what they feel or what they think about their own niche and industry. So for you, basically, we all know he has a popular international... I, I like that. Number one fine bar. As in, I like it. Melanie Pong. Melanie. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So, but the one thing that really struck me about your personality and your content is that you are different. And how you've taken that RAS thing to become that thing that people can actually connect with, which is very, very, very important. In today's world, we see, we know we talk about influencers and influencing. Influencers are... Engagement is, engagement is actually part of influencing, and which is what you have done with your brand. So um, maybe maybe before maybe before we go into all of that, maybe you can just tell us a little bit about yourself. All right. So uh, basically, my name is Samuel A. Berry. It stands for animation. I'm an actor. I'm a content creator and uh, a graduate of uh, University of Lagos Creative Arts Department. So basically, what I do is uh, I create characters. So before Brother Shaggy, I've had the other character before Brother Shaggy. I've had Inspector Perry, I've had uh, Professor Dele, I've had Dakoni Bado, and many of us. So basically, that's what I do for a living. So Accent. why the name Brother Shaggy? Well, Brother Shaggy actually like, like came online because um, it's just a character, like I created others, you understand? And um, with the fact that others didn't get recognized, uh, like this one did, you understand? Uh, so, but Brother Shaggy actually is an Aguero, number one Aguero, like I called it, but it happened on last year, December. I was actually at the mechanic workshop working on my car, then this Aguero guys just came and they were like, ah, they found a little man, you know, I was like, wow, okay, I like this, and I've always wanted to do something different. You get, I've always done the normal comedy skits online which didn't really put me out there. So I've always wanted to do something different. And I was like, okay, how can I brush this up? How can I, how can I bring this to, to, how can I bring it to life? How can, how can I do more of this? I just don't want to do a video and it's over. There are some skits when you just introduce the character once and there is nothing to find about them anymore. So I've always wanted to create more about it, so I gave it a name. Mm. Brother Shaggy actually wasn't the first name that came to my mind. Ah. I had a friend, I had, uh, he's cute. He's cute. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just looking for a name to give. Something uh, funny. Something funny and yeah. something people can relate to. Yes. Shaggy is a name people can relate of to. Of Shaggy because I had this guy, um, he's not, he's actually not an Aguero, but he's someone <laughs> that, that's very known in the area, you understand? Like, when Shaggy, when they see the brother, like, when Shaggy is coming, you know, so, uh, I gave myself brush brush shaggy. shaggy. Okay, so so okay. So one thing I want to know, one 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 thing I want to ask is, okay. how do you create your content? Like you've talked about how you've done other things, and you didn't find you didn't find joy in what we were doing, mm -hmm. but you wanted something more, yeah. and you just found one character that everybody knows that even the downfall is 
Kali Kali change yes. here and all of that. Like we all know that sound. Yeah. It's just that we don't see it. We people don't connect with it because they feel it is raz. Yeah. But you f you really find to that razness, and now a lot of people on the internet, like they, you know, they even connect with it. Like yeah. Agbero, you know. So you've you've really taken that brand, you know, from from nothing to something. So I want you to just talk about your journey a little bit. How you started creating those content? How did you find Atishagi? <laughs> <laughs> when I met Atishagi on set, okay. um, because uh, I'm also a thespian, oh, yes. I once worked with the thespian family, I'm sure. Oh yes, I know them, yes. So that, that was where I met Atishagi right. on set of um, a stage play. Then she's an actor, I got to know she's an actor and also a theatre student. And I was like, okay, can we work together? Then she was like, yeah. So my first video, actually, I didn't I didn't show her face. It was just me and she was asking me the question. That was the first Brother Shaggy um, video. So that was how I met Aunt Shaggy. Mm. And how do I create my content? Yes. <laughs> okay. Basically, because of um, the kind of person I am, I like to I like to write stories. Then, you know, some someone used to tell me when poverty don't overknock your head, True. you find your calling. True. You find True. your calling. Um, things that can actually be a witness because I've gone through a lot even creating characters on social media i've gone through a lot um and he's always supported me on that before brother shaggy came to learn that so like i said before i've created different characters but i wanted to be different i mm -hmm. wanted to stand out i wanted something people can say wow this mm -hmm. is different this is unique mm -hmm. this is not just ordinary um comedy you get so that was how i started with brother shaggy and Creating um, content online requires a lot. Mm. Requires a lot, yeah. So for me, I've only shot my videos myself. I edit myself. Mm. Yeah. I like that. You shot? Yeah. I mean, sorry. I shoot, I shoot, <laughs> I shoot, sorry. Sorry. I shoot myself. All right, and then you had to. Yes, I tried yes. to shoot my parts. Ah. I will shoot a part. Then ah. I do the editing and merge them together. Nice. Yeah, because. If I I don't think I would have gotten to where I am if I if I didn't do that. Mm. Reason being because I will have to wait for editor to to do this. And if if I use camera guys, there was a time I tried to use camera guys. I wasn't getting to them, so it slows down my creativity. Because when I write, and I just want to shoot it. When I write, I want to shoot it. Mm. When I write, I want to shoot it. But so if I if I call. If I call um, the um, videographer and he says, ah, I'm not around, I'm there. So that really brings down the my, vibe, the and, vibe and mood. So I'm always like that sometimes. Exactly. So I just <laughs> shoot it myself and edit myself. Yes. I made sure I was doing that for a very long time, for a very long time. Then I had to set out what I want to do. Mm. I told myself, I'm going to, like I wrote it down somewhere, mm. like I'm going to drop videos every day mm. till I get to 500k. Mm. Getting to 500k wasn't easy. Wow. Yes, it wasn't easy because I shot like, I took, that's one thing I tell people, you want to make it on, on social media as an influencer, you have to be ready. Mm. You have to take it as a job. You have to, you can't be doing something else and you're doing, no. You have to make it there. If you know this is what you want to do, you have to make it there first. You have to be ready for it. You have to be ready to write. You have to be ready to shoot. Yeah, I know I'm good with um, right. freestyle. Okay. Yes, I'm good with freestyle. Um, people who I act with know that if if I come on on okay. a set, just even even if you don't give me, just give me the situation, I will flow. Mm. You understand? And I will flow better than what you've written down. But I like to be organized. I like to, before, when I edit my videos, before I put them out there, I have to show my manager. Mm. I have to show people around me. It has to be funny because not everything that's funny to me can be funny to the next person. To, uh, you get so, and I don't want to put down because my last job is as good as whatever I do mm. and whatever I will do. True. Start. So I have to put out, put out the, the best, best thing online. I have mm. to put out the best thing. I just don't want to. Rush, 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 rush everything. Yeah, yeah, I and I think yeah. I like the fact that you mentioned that you edit, you yeah. shoot, you edit, yeah. and you give Auntie Shaggy the next thing to shoot, and yeah. you, f you finish everything up because that shows the power of collaboration. Yeah. And that is one thing influencers need to know and learn that they need to know how to collaborate yeah. with other influencers yeah. or collaborate yeah. with people that they can even connect with. Yeah. Because I think for you to 
uh, find her or for you to get her, it shows that you can actually connect with her. You can also see there's value that sure. both of you can actually share because now the all, I mean, everything now is not the spotlight is not only on you yeah, but also on also Auntie Shaggy. Yeah. Like, there's no brother Shaggy without Auntie Shaggy. Yeah. So, that's very important. The power of collaboration is very, very key, you know, as an influencer. So, how did what, so what was the first thing? What, what was the video that brought you into the limelight? Like, what was that video that brought you mm, into the limelight? That was Jesus in motion. Yeah. You see Jesus in motion, what will you do? I think I can remember that one. Yeah, that was the video that actually gave um, the fame. Because, fame. Uh, yes, okay. that was the video that gave the fame, and the video went wrong. Mm. I, I could remember when that video dropped, I like I got calls from people, positive and negative ones, because some people called me and like, ah, Samuel, who do you are winning? Why will you talk? To, why are you talk about Jesus like that? Bring the video down. Bring the video down. Something, something. And I was like, I wanted to, but uh, I never thought of it. When I was doing nothing, these people never called me. Mm. They never told me, uh -uh, Samuel, you've not done anything. Mm. Now that I've done something and I could see people saying, wow, some of them, you're not calling me to tell me this, then I'm not, I'm not putting it down. Mm. So thank God I didn't put it down yeah. because I don't know what would have happened. So I did another one. I was trying to show the, the realness in this character mm. because I like realism too. So I was trying to show the realness in this character. Mm. At Beerus, we say anything, we mm. don't care. They don't. They don't care. They and I even like the fact that like, even fine to do. I, but how do you do? It? Oh God! <laughs> like how do you, like you sleep? I like, was one be by like <laughs> you just and then you created other characters like Mastercraft. Yes. The guy with the <laughs> exactly. That's another thing I tell people who want to be, who want to be good. Um, yes. Comedians. Or yes. Social media influencers. Because it's not about followers alone. Mm. You have to create content to get mm. followers. You don't. Create, create. Um, you don't try to look for followers before you get content. Mm. If you have just one content on your page, okay, it's very funny. They come and they scroll and there's nothing to be found. You understand? They go. Mm. They go. But when you have others, mm. you have content, then people we keep coming to see what you have on your we page. Have done. So, okay, so like for other comedians who, or for other people, your influencers who want to be Instagram mm -hmm. comedians. Yeah. I would say Instagram comedians because there are a lot of comedians on social media today. What would you tell them to start with? Well, I would tell them to start creating. Creating. You have to think. You just yeah. have to think because creativity itself is something that's very, very, very scarce. Mm. Trust me, because there is nothing you want to think that has not been done before mm. but actually there are things that you can think that has, they, they've not done before mm. but you have to go deep very deep you understand you mm. have to go deep, deep so which means you have to think like me now it comes anywhere mm. i can be in the toilet like especially my songs most of my songs i wrote them in the toilet mm. you understand so you have to be ready you have to be with your phone you have to write you have to put it down don't just say Yes, oh yeah, camera, shoot, and you start saying mm, something else. Like that's for me. Okay. So you have to be ready, you have to, another thing, you have to be humble. Humble too. Humility. Humility is very important. Very, very important. In short, integrity is also important too, because if you are working with brands, yeah. you need to be trustworthy. Sure. People should be able to see your platform and say, do you know what, I want to work with this person yeah. because this person will deliver. Yeah. So I think yeah. uh, integrity works a lot, yeah. immunity works a lot. People don't know these things, but I think if they hear from you, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, they'll believe it. So that's the reason why we have people like you, you know, come on set with us to talk about these things so that they believe when they hear their favorite talking yes. about and you this know, things. you can always learn from anybody. Yeah, you know, true. No true that. Age, mm. you can always learn from, from true everybody. That. True that. True that. All right, so let's just round this up. Okay. So I'm going to ask you one question. Mention your top three tools. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, um, I use Power Director. I started with, um, what's it called? Um, what is this popular app called? Is it video show? Video Viva? Yes. Video, Viva Video. Viva Video, Viva yes. Video. I started with Viva Video. Yes. But then I moved to Power Director. Power Director, Power Director yes. Okay. I moved to Power. So I still use Power Director too. Okay. Now. So which other one again? Maybe the last one. That's, that's it. That's, that's basically. Yes, that's okay, so tell me who your top influencers are on social media. It can be on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, but just tell me your top three influencers. Mm -hmm. Tunde Edna. Tunde Edna, number Tunde one. Number one. Uh, 
<laughs> he laughing. That's how I do it. Like that's Anti Shaggy <laughs> number two. <laughs> yes, and Shaggy. Mastercraft number, number three. <laughs> that's all. Are you serious? I mentioned them for you. I mentioned them for you. Okay, no problem. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've come to the end of this episode and we just spoke with Brother Shaggy when we talked about content creation. So, guys, if you have any questions, please drop your questions in the comment section below and we'll respond to you. And you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Olori Supergirl. Also, subscribe to this channel, Yolo Supergirl TV on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at the Tosin Achipade. So, until next time, I'm going to see you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So until next time, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, yeah.